after going within for several repeated journeys it, there comes a time when after clearing what you didn't want to keep and keeping what you wanted to keep that you realize that you have a different concept of something that was always there and what you took for granted and that concept is reality welcome to a quest for unlabeled reality um, since my uh, last video I've had a few things take place so one was I finally felt healthy enough to go on a uh, short backpacking trip uh, and then it was beautiful everything worked out well uh, no problems however um, I destroyed my glasses in the process so anyway enough of that the 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 last video we covered I covered going within and that's the process of going within through meditation um, whatever meditation might be your um, your preference there there's prayer meditation there is uh, Buddhist meditation and uh, there is uh, shamanic meditation that which involves rhythmic rhythmic and um, devices so after going within often if we do it often enough or I can only speak for myself after I did it for a while I started singing what well, do I want that to be a part of me does it serve me anymore that that is there and is a part of me oftentimes um, the uh, answer myself gave myself was I'll get back with you on that okay there's some things we just don't want to uh, let go of but then eventually we don't feel the need for them anymore for whatever reason for whatever it is and when that happens we it either migrates away from us or we just have a mental ceremony where we go chop get out of here so anyway that's a long-winded way of saying that once enough of that takes place we start to see an alteration of what we perceive as reality it's a lens change it's taking away in some cases the lenses that color a false reality or after we realize it was a false reality we held it true up to that point let there be no doubt okay it was as true as could be just like walking in the rain you're gonna get wet however as we introspect as we go within and uncover uncover peel back the layers get into our essential center self there um, changes take place sometimes they're abrupt and sometimes they can be painful which I've had a couple and I had to back away from them for a while while other things were organized in the periphery and then I could change however it uh it can be done um, my big ones were uh, being judgmental uh, and being ooh, this was a hard one <laughs> pointing out deficiencies 
and after I held up a mirror and saw my own, it became easy to let that one go. So, as far as the judgmental, yeah, I mean, I'm not as blatantly overt, even though I rarely said it out loud, I still perceived myself throwing that judgment out there to where I just kind of say, yeah, that's different, cool. Where, as it used to be, you know, like one of those things, you're out of uniform, okay? Anyway, every, I'm just trying to put out the basis of the concept here. You take it to wherever you think it should be. And note that as you keep going within, you keep unveiling your sentient self, your sentient self keeps accelerating to where you get to the point where, wow, that might be, that's pretty good around the curve. Let's keep doing this, okay? So that's that's a concept that that is a carryover from the um, going within. Okay. So yes, going within is a journey. However, going without, going into nature, seeing the beauty that surrounds us everywhere is also a journey, a path, a path that will take us to many places, a path which will calm us, a path which will bring us back to our elemental self. Through going within and going without, we will start seeing details in a world that is wonderful.